evening, officer. Hello, Detective. That seems to be the problem. We have a murder here. Um, one point trauma. So who's the victim? Identified female, early 20s. Um, call was put in about 45 minutes ago by a neighbor. She said she heard screams. Got over here. Uh, she was dead about two hours ago. So has there been any evidence found? Well, we found some tracks from a uh, pair of boots, presumably uh, from such a suspect. So have we ID'd the victim? Well, we contacted the family and they said she was last seen with one of her friends. We have the address here. Thanks. Did we find anything else out? Not at the moment, but we are continuing to search for another weapon. Well, uh, I think I'll be heading this investigation. Thank you, officer. Are you Elizabeth Baker? Yeah, hi. I'm with the MPD. My name is Detective Kane. Do you mind if I come in and ask you a few questions? Sure. Thank you. Well, Elizabeth, I'm sorry to say this, but your friend Madison Hall is dead. She was murdered last night, and we found her body in a abandoned lot. We called her parents, and we were told that you were the last person that was with her. Is there anything you can tell us? Well, we were hanging out a few days ago. Everything seemed really fine, you know? I, I don't know who could have done such a thing to her. Did she... I need specifics. Did she say anything about where she was going and who she'd see? Elizabeth, please, I, I need you to tell me this. I'm very sorry, but... Okay. Um... All she talks about was Jason Miller. Who was Jason Miller? He was her boyfriend. Um... I don't know much about him. She, ne she didn't really talk about him, so I don't... I'm sorry. I don't know. I just, I don't want my best friend dead. Is there anything you can tell me about Jason and where he lives? Any, an address, phone number, anything? Um, yeah, I know his address. I hope you find him. Thank you, Miss Baker. We'll try and, we'll try our best. Thank you. Yes. Are you Jason Miller? Yes. Why? I'm Detective Kane with the NPD. Could I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, one sec. So how did you ma know Madison? She's my girlfriend. How long have you been dating? Like two years. Why? I'm leading an investigation on her murder, and I was wondering if you had any info. I don't know. She's... Everyone loved her. Everyone at work. All of her friends. Everybody? Are you sure there wasn't somebody that was her enemy or anybody that would just want to get rid of her? Well, I didn't, she never said anything about anyone being mad at her or any arguments or anything, so I really couldn't tell you. I really gotta get to work, so if that's it. Yeah, that's fine. If you think of anything, 
Here's my card. Give me a call. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So have you found out anything new about Manson? Not really. We've investigated her boyfriend, Jason, but he just doesn't seem like the guy that would do it. He is our strongest suspect right now, though. I don't feel like he would do anything to hurt her. Um, but you suspect him? He's one of the only few people that we've investigated. It's a high probability it could be him, but we're just not sure yet. We don't have enough info. Is it, Are you sure there's nothing else you can tell me about him? Any fights, anything that would get him riled up enough to kill her? Anything? I guess there's one thing. Madison talked about it very briefly, but... She never told me what they were about. But I know after she would start yelling at him about whatever they were arguing about, he... he would sometimes hit her. She tried to always cover it up with makeup, but one time it was especially bad. And I noticed it and asked her. She yeah. told me about what he did, but made me swear she would never tell anyone. I guess she just had that Stockholm Syndrome with him. Even though he did terrible things to her, she couldn't stop it and get away. What's this been going on for? I don't know, a couple months? Um, first it was a little slap, and then it got harder and worse, and... He just couldn't control himself, you know? Do you think he'd do it? I mean, kill her? Well, I don't know. Maybe he just went too far, or maybe he found out she told someone. Do you think he'd come after me? Uh, can you keep me safe? I can keep you safe, yes. We can put you in the witness protection program and they'll take care of you. We'll do everything in my power to keep you safe. Mr. Miller, I had a few more questions before we conclude this investigation. Do you know Elizabeth Baker? Yeah, she was uh, Madison's like best friend. Do you think she could have uh, done the crime? Like she could be a suspect? I mean, they were best friends. I don't see why she would have, but I guess it's possible. I didn't really know her that well. Do you care if I take you down to the station? We could uh, make a statement and we could end this crime. Sure. All right, come. You got nothing on me, so you have to let me go. You would never hurt her? How come we have testimonials against you and physical abuse against your girlfriend? You got a history. You can and you did hurt her. She was going to rat you out and you killed her for it. That's our personal business. I didn't kill my girlfriend. And why did you run? Just felt like needing to go for a run as soon as you saw me at the door? But you couldn't get away. You got nothing to prove it. You got a motive, testimonials, and we have evidence. The boots at your house, we got a match of, of the tracks at the crime scene. You're done. Just give up. I did it, okay? I followed her out of town, I chased her into a gravel lot, and I beat her to death with a crowbar. Either way, I gotta take you in. We're done. <laughs> I can rest in peace. 